Checking newborns for broken hearts, there's a test for that. A simple one that could save their life. If it is undetected um, and the patient goes home with a critical congenital heart defect, many times they will, if they represent to the hospital, they re will present in shock, cardiogenic shock, um, they are heart failure and potentially can die. The test is called pulse oximetry or pulse ox. It's inexpensive and easy to administer. Based on low levels or discrepancy in oxygen readings, it helps identify potential heart defects. We only really pick up about half of the critical congenital heart defects before an infant's born. The other half need to be picked up after birth. Every baby born within Lee Memorial Health System is now screened after the first 24 hours of life. The test is fast, painless, and relatively low tech. It involves attaching a sensor to the baby's hand and foot. A beam of light measures oxygen in the blood. You do a preductal and a postductal reading. It tells you a lot about the um, oxygen levels as they're going through the heart. This test helps detect 80% of heart defects, including holes in the heart, murmurs, malformed, and missing valves. Some babies with a critical heart defect seem healthy at birth, but their condition requires surgery or a specialized procedure in their first year of life. Our goal is to not miss one of these um, patients um, who could go home and then later on come back with a severe um, devastating effect. It's impossible to put a value on a test that looks out for the newborn heart. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.